Ozzy returns for one last battle. Okay, Rose Petal. I need to guarantee some victory, so I'm going to use Toxic here. Although using uh, Petal Dance would probably knock it out, but I don't want to take chances. Crunch. Surprised it didn't use Earthquake again. I'm still not going to lose this. I do not see myself losing. Uh, after that, he has his Snorlax. And that is what good old Shadow Bolt is for. I put him back on the team in between uh, when I went to save, when I cut that out. I put him back on the team because I'm going to need him for this Snorlax. Oh man, Snorlax is going to be made to be deadly if trained properly. I got a really killer Snorlax on Puggy on Emerald. I have so much defense, but a good fighting type move can really dish the damage out. Now, if Shadow Bolt wasn't so weak, that would have knocked it out in a heartbeat. And since it spared me by using Crunch, I'm gonna just finish off with a Brick Break. But, if you're not using fighting type moves, the Snorlax is gonna be a pain. And I really recommend physical moves because Snorlax have really good special defense compared to defense. Especially, I don't know if his Snorlax knows Amnesia, but it's a really powerful move. Okay, Dark Death, we left you for last. Maybe we could get a critical hit with your super luck and your new hold item. Really good. You fully believe. Hmm. Fully believe what? That's my move. No, you cannot use Night Slash on my Pokemon that uses Night Slash. Yeah, let's see you survive this attack. You're finished. Nothing can survive. No hair cross can survive a uh, flying move that powerful. Can't be done. Still needs raisin. Always will. You're not ready for the Pokemon League, I'm afraid. Now, you obviously want to go save again, and you also want to prepare. Oh, uh, wow, you can buy all the Pokeballs here, all the rare ones. And then you could also buy your potions and stuff. Now, Hyper Potions. I recommend you have at least Five potion, hyper potions for every Pokemon you have. So you should have at least probably 30. Never use max potions. Those are a waste. They're double the price. You could use two hyper potions, fully heal, and it beats a max potion. It also helps if you have about 15 four stores. Just in case you get any status problems in the battle. Revives. You should also have at least probably 30 of these just in case because you might need them because you don't get the heal when you fight the Elite Four. You might also want to buy anything else you might need and of course you want to heal up. And then it is finally time to beat this game 
and go take on the Elite Four. Okay, here's uh, the training scoop. In between videos, got the entire team up to level 57. I taught Dark Death, Dark Pulse, as well as Nasty Pot. I taught Shadow Bolt, uh, I taught Fireball Bounce. I think I taught Shadow Bolt Megahorn. And since I didn't want to teach Aqua Armor Flash Cannon, I instead taught it Steel Wing because I could get that off a of Pokemon Emerald. So that's pretty much the scoop on the training. So when you're ready, you can go up and confirm that you're ready for the Pelion League. Let's examine the gym badges. Orberg City's Cool Badge. Eterna City's Forest Badge. Bellstone City's Cobble Badge. Pastoria City's Fen Badge. Herthone City's Relic Badge. Cantalave City's Mine Badge, Snow Point City's Icicle Badge, and Sunny Shore City's Beacon Badge. It is now time to conquer the Elite Four.